Hi guys and welcome back to Rebellious Menstruation. Uh, this is going to be the what I wore this month for March 2019. It's a little bit late this month is in the filming of it just because I was working and didn't get my washing done in time to get a video done earlier. Uh, this cycle ran from the 7th of March to the 11th of March. Uh, which was five days, but I also had a pre-day of spotting uh, before I actually started to bleed. So I'm actually right in the middle of my ovulation at this point. So we may as well kind of get started. Hopefully you guys can see. This is before I, this is 8 inch Alice in Wonderland by Handmade by Hetty. It's cotton topped, zorb and flannel core and fleece backed. Um, I was wearing this pre, so these are all pre period pads. So I was kind of like spotting or coming up to my period. And I'm usually generally pretty regular. Um, this is a nine inch Wonder Woman by Lotus Blossom, which is cotton topped, cotton flannel, hemp fleece with hidden PUL core and micro fleece backed. So I wore this at night. So this is the one I wore during the day. This is my liner that I wore during the day. This is the one that I wore overnight as a just in case. Um, so I went for nine inches because obviously my uh, period was due. This is nine inch rabbit novel red. Um, Cools is cotton topped, bamboo cotton core and a win pro on the back. Uh, this is the one that I wore that overnight, um, which is a 9 inch circles by Tala cloth cotton topped cotton terry and a flannel core and a poly fleece back in this purple colour. Um, then the next day I wore this 9 inch Doctor Who by Handmade by Hetty. It is cotton topped, zorb and flannel internal and it is um, flannel on the back. Then it was this one, this little baby villains one. It's such a cute little adorable print. It's one of the few surged pads that I have. It is a 10 inch with these little villains on it. And well, that's not really a villain. Um, by Bearfly, cotton jersey topped, bamboo fleece uh, core, and this grid win pro on the back. And then la, um, this is the last of the pre or like spotting pads that I was wearing. This 10 inch geisha by Handmade by Hetty. Um, it is cotton topped, zorb and flannel core and it is fleece backed. Um, then I started, I started on Thursday, the Thursday, um, this, so I put in the Lali cup, which is here. Um, it hasn't been sterilized yet. I generally tend to sterilize them the week before I, um, need them or like the weekend before I'm due to get them just so I have them in my prep pack. Um, so I put the lally cup in because I got them, I woke up with it essentially. Um, and so I started with the lally cup because I was obviously going to work. I wear my menstrual cup at work. To be honest with you, these are a lifesaver outside of the house when I have to be outside the house. Um, because it was my first day, I was generally pretty light. Um, I had this in for the 12 hours and I bled 5 mil. Um... But I always had backup, so my backup for that day was this Beetlejuice one in the morning, which is 9 inch by Go With Your Flow. It is cotton lycra topped, bamboo fleece, cotton flannel, and hidden PUL core with a corduroy back. And if you've watched any of my videos, you know I'm obsessed with a corduroy backing. Um, I then, when I got home and took out the, um, obviously removed the Lali cup. I then put on this 11 inch Winnie the Pooh by Erin Sweet Sew. It is cotton topped organic bamboo fleece with hidden PUL on the inside and corduroy backed. That's obviously why I've hung them on the line, as you can tell. Um, then my overnight that I wore is this 14 inch Hello Kitty by Go With Your Flow. Cotton lacquer topped bamboo fleece, cotton 
flannel and with P hidden PUL core and corduroy backed as you can tell <laughs> these all these three were all corduroy backed in a row because I am just in love with it as a backer okay so on to day two which is my heaviest day so I wore my biggest cup which is the Yuki rainbow cup and off I went to work this is a Friday so my little Yuki rainbow cup and it's in this triangle pouch from Handmade by Hedy. Um, and put on as backup this 10 inch Totoro by Daisy and Bird is cotton knit topped bamboo fleece flannelette core and fleece backed. Um, by about 2 o'clock, I work in an exceptionally old building where the bathroom stalls are like, uh, I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to change in those bathroom stalls. Um, it's a really old building, like 40 years old, and the bathrooms are just really inadequate. Okay, it still has an incinerator for sanitary napkins in these bathroom stalls, like it's such an ancient building. Um, so by about 2, 2.30, I actually had started overspilling this cup, so I had filled this cup to the brim and it was kind of starting to um, overfill. Um, if you head on over to my Instagram, you'll see pictures of these um, pads that I overspilled at the time. Um, this, so I changed, I always take pad back up anyway. This is a 10 inch Disney key by Daisy and Bird. Um, cotton topped bamboo core and wind pro fleece on the back. Um, this one here, these little uh, villains in ballroom attire. It is so cute. It's a, one, it's, this is my floppiest pad to be honest. Um, this is by Fire Lily Designs. It's cotton lacquer topped organic fleece core and wind pro on the back. Um, this one um, was my favourite picture of the day, to be honest. Um, it is up on my Instagram if you want to go have a look. Um, I managed to get all here while wearing the cup, by the way. This is a 10-inch um, by Bearfly. It is cotton jersey topped at bamboo fleece um, core and grid, this like blue navy grid wind pro fleece on the back. Um, then got home and took out the cup obviously I think this is 27 mils I think I bled about 30 mils on that second day this one here is a 12 inch booby bear by Venus pads it is crushed velvet topped flannel core and fleece backed my overnight was a 12 inch unicorn uh, sorry uh, I've actually so my overnight here was this 14 inch blood spatter by Killer Bear Creates, a cotton topped bamboo French terry and cotton flannel and PUL floor, uh, core and micro fleece backed. The next morning, um, I, the Saturday, um, I put on this 12 inch unicorn by Killer Bear Creates. It is cotton topped bamboo French terry, cotton flannel and PUL, hidden PUL core with a micro fleece backing. I then um, had to go to a wedding, um, so because it was my third day and I wasn't going to be as heavy, I put in my, oh actually I put in my Yuki cup, because I was going to be away for a while at this wedding, um, I think in the, I think I changed it after 13 hours, which was bad of me, however I think I still only on this third day had about 4 mils, so that just shows you the difference, day 1 was... 5 mil day 2 was like 30 mil day 3 was like 5 mil so that's the distinct difference in my um, bleeding pattern this was my backup when I put the cup on to go to the wedding this is a 10 inch adventure time by Erin Sweet so it is cotton knit topped organic bamboo fleece cotton flannel and hidden PUL core with this glorious corduroy backing um, then went to this 10 inch Mickey Mouse by the Paper Panda woven cotton topped bamboo fleece with hidden PUL core and of course cotton backed and there's her tag. Um, when I came home I used this as my overnight. This is an 11 inch Hocus Pocus by Orange Tulip Knits. It is cotton lycra topped bamboo fleece core and this or kind of a grey, it's like a really dark grey bamboo uh, wind pro on the back. Then went for this 10 inch gingerbread and 
Christmas tree by hand made by Hetty. It is cotton topped, zorb and flannel uh, core and fleece backed. So we're up to day four now. This is here. This is a 10 inch um, by Homestead Emporium. This is another one of the few uh, core and backer ones that I have. Um, it is um, bamboo velour topped, cotton fleece interior, and this water resistant fleece on the back. Then went to this 10 inch Evil Queen. You all know I'm a big Evil Queen fan from Fire Lily Designs. It's cotton knit topped, a bamboo fleece interior, and Wind Pro on the back. This is another one that has um, a picture on my website because my bleeding pattern was straight down the centre that day. Um, then went to this 10 inch uh, black hat by Venus Pads. Okay, it is crushed velvet topped, flannel core, and of course fleece on the back. Get a little bit tight in here, so I'm just going to move these, this pile, this stack out the way a bit. Um, okay, so we're nearly at the end. <laughs> this is a uh, 10 inch. So up to day five now, this is 10 inch tie dye by Erin Sweet Sew, cotton topped organic bamboo fleece, cotton flannel with hidden PUO core, and of course the fabulous corduroy as a backing. Um, we're then on to this one, an 11 inch crocodile by the Purple Panda, cotton topped organic fleece with PUO core, and cotton, this polka dot cotton back, it is really, really cute. Um, and then last but not least, um, this 10 inch Ravenclaw pad by Handmade by Hetty, which is cotton topped, absorb and flannel core, and fleece backed. So, if you guys were counting, that is 27 pads in the pile. And uh, that was also three days of wearing a cup. Um, which was the Thursday, Friday, and um, half of Saturday, which was the Croatian-made Yuki Cup. I do have a review of this cup up. Um, and also the Lali Cup. So these are the two, Yuki and Lali Cup, both the European. Um... Also, uh, when I was out, I had these three with me, so I had just put, put like a single clean pad in one of these wet bags, and then just took it to the toilet and replaced the dirty one with the clean one, and then threw it in my bag. Because obviously when I was out, I was wearing uh, pads as a backup, not as my main. Um, and then as soon as I'd get home, I'd change into um, my pads. This is the uh, cover for my Yuki cup and the cup spot is inside there just at the bottom so it's all, all in one it's not inside there at the moment because this was washed this with these were all washed this cycle so that I could uh, you know when I uh, sterilize them this is the one for my Yuki cup this does come with the cup spot which cup spot which is around somewhere I'm not too sure I don't have them together at the moment because I haven't sterilized them yet um, outside of that, that's 27 pads. This is the what I wore this month for March 2019. Um, as per usual, you guys are YouTube uh, users and should know what you need to guys need to do. Any questions, or comments, you all my contact details are in the comments below, um, and you can also private message me or email me if you're not comfortable leaving a public comment. Outside of that, enjoy the rest of your morning, afternoon or evening, depending on what part of the day that you're watching this in. Bye, guys.